बेस्ट बजट पी सी बिल्ड फॉर आर्किटेक्ट फॉर स्पेशली फॉर रेंडरिंग एंड फॉर वीडियो प्रोडक्शन और फॉर एडिटिंग दिस वीडियो विल गिव यू अ बेस्ट कॉन्फिग्रेशन फॉर अ बजट दैट विल बी एबल टू हैंडल योर सॉफ्टवेयर लाइक लूमियॉन इट विल बी एबल टू हैंडल सॉफ्टवेयर लाइक रेविट इट विल बी एबल टू हैंडल सॉफ्टवेयर लाइक प्रीमियर प्रो और फोटोशॉप सो दिस वीडियो विल गिव यू अ वेरी गुड हाईलाइट ऑफ विच specific products you should buy to build a pc in budget i have done extensive research about which processor which motherboard which kind of gpu will be required for the softwares that we already have i also have built my own pc i have made a specific video about building my own pc and if you are here on my channel for the first time i would request please go ahead hit the like and subscribe to my channel this helps me this helps the architecture community to build better pc in budget and produce better work so without any delays let's get started with the video guys So guys let's start with the motherboard first uh, for motherboard you can go for MSI B760 this is one of the most budget friendly motherboard out there which supports the latest generation processor it also has wifi on board so overall this motherboard will be able to take out all the things that you need for example it also supports m2 ssd it also support an external gpu of course we need that and i would say if you have if you are in a budget you can definitely go for this specific motherboard next is your processor which is the central brain of your pc so for processor i would suggest go for i5 13 generation processor which is 13 13600k it is 14 uh, 14 core processor which is very important for video production for rendering for rendering of object and subjects into different softwares a processor with higher core will be better for your processing power so i would say go for this one this comes in a good budget the prices have just gone down so you can go ahead and check that out the link is also there in the description which one i am suggesting and the next thing that you will need is your ram i always suggest don't go for any ram configuration below 8 gb because it will be worthless so i would suggest go for 16 gb ram configuration and i always prefer corsair rams so my pc also has the same ram and i have 32 gb Corsair Vengeance RAM. Uh, here in Canada, the costing of this RAM is not that high. It's around fifty-seven dollars for uh, DDR5 16 GB RAM, and probably one hundred and four for thirty-two GB DDR5 RAM. And of course, go for DDR5 RAM because DDR6 are very expensive right now. Go for DDR5. It will do the same process and same things as you need. so you can go for those ones and the prices are already down next is your ssd that you need i would suggest go for m2 ssd and uh, this motherboard also supports that and what ssd does just to give you a general basic knowledge about ssd if you have ssd and all your softwares rendering softwares revit autocad all of these are installed on your ssd your processing or your softwares will function faster their read and write speed will increase so ssds are specifically used for that i would suggest go for 500 gb as m2 ssd and you can go for a normal ssd of 1 tb for your other functionality or if not you can just go for a normal hard disk there is no problem in that you can store all your data on normal hard disk and all your softwares on an ssd this is the functionality of ssd and the most interesting part of everyone is the gpu i would suggest go for 3060 msi gpu i have the same gpu in my pc it's an msi victus Vintus or Victus uh, GPU that is 12 GB 3060 uh, RTX 3060 GPU and it's from Nvidia again. So if you are going for an Nvidia RTX GPU, go for 3060 because 4060 is pretty expensive. It will raise your budget more than one lakh. 
so don't go for that 3060 will do your work pretty well i have even tested and i have a video as well for that so you can go ahead and check that out for performance of lumion and twin motion both on 3060 next is the power supply power supply for me i would say um, 650 watt power supply would be good evga is one of the brand that is upcoming i would suggest you can go for gigabyte as well but evga is something which people have recommended me and i would say you can go for that there are modular and non-modular uh, power supplies so modular means uh, basically all the cables that are attached to your power supply are separated so like you can remove them but a non-modular power supply is basically all the wires and the cables that are there in your power supply will be fixed for me it was difficult to do the uh, cable management in my pc just because my power supply was a non-modular power supply it was a task believe me guys but if you get a modular power supply you can do the cable management very properly and the cost is not much of a difference so think about it and for cabinets i would say you can go for cooler master or any cabinet corsair any cabinet would do which supports mid atx motherboard or the full size full body atx motherboard just see that you don't go for a smaller cabinet because it's better to have a bigger cabinet than a very small cabinet and have a very cramped space so if you have a cabinet of this size i think so it will do your work don't go for a lot of fancy lighting and all of these things get a good quality cooler cooler for your processor that is very important and uh, i again you can go for any uh, processor cooler that you want and uh, which is compatible with intel motherboards so take all these points all the links all the links for the products are in the description you can go ahead check it out and uh, if you like it go ahead buy it and uh, if you have any kinds of doubts or queries please go ahead mention it in the comment section and guys i hope you like this video and if you did go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel your support means a lot to me just because of your support i am able to make these videos so yeah uh, all i require is your support nothing else so go ahead hit a like and subscribe take care bye bye